comment down below if you miss me <laughs> hey guys i'm rachel and i'm back with another tutorial it feels like forever since i actually sat down to flim and this is what i came up with for you guys i played some more with the james charles and morphe palette and this is the look everything pink <laughs> so uh, if you want to see how i achieved this um what should i start with my complexion or my eyes hmm. Hmm. decisions decisions anyway who am i kidding i need to get rid of all this discoloration on my face i had um an allergic reaction to something i don't quite know what it was so we are going to start with my complexion today and before i jump into my foundation i am um, i primed my face with this new primer from cover girl it's um a pore minimizing it's really nice and i double prime as usual so i use the hydrogen primer as well because my skin is combination and i do get dry areas underneath my eyes and sides of my face and stuff like that so i double prime so now i'm gonna go in with my translucent powder you know the drill and i'm gonna press this in places where i get oily which is basically my chin and my nose which i hate these areas just they're always oily no matter what i do so. tricky has me the oils at base so so um i'm going in with a new foundation well it's not new and i had it in my collection i just haven't used it in a while but i did mention it the la girl pro matte foundation and they are so good and it's so inexpensive but um i don't have my perfect color as usual i still feel like when i mix these two they don't work very well so i'm gonna go with a darker one underneath i'm just using a little bit of this um maybelline stick foundation just so that it would blend and give me close enough to my complexion oh my god i can't wait to get rid of this discoloration on my skin it's annoying i don't know what broke me out and i'm going to mix this too i'm going to mix um caramel and cafe i'm going in with my real technique body sponge i'm gonna press that into my skin i like this foundation because it's like full coverage and it's it's matte but it dries down to a nice powdery finish it is not like extra i don't know i can't explain it. it's just really really beautiful look at that one one a layer on my face and all the discoloration is gone look at you see the difference it's gone i love it it's, it is a beautiful and the girl be doing things all these drugs so brands and everything has really been stepping up the game they're making makeup so much more affordable for everyone to um to be able to buy there's always something in somebody's price price range so this is what one layer of the foundation looks like it covered all my discoloration everything is gone and i did mix it with the um the stick foundation whenever you want like a really really glammed <laughs> whenever you want a really really glammed foundation look mixing creams and liquid is the way to go you cannot go wrong your makeup is budge proof it stays in place and that's all you need now it's time to conceal and i am going to use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Honey and apply this underneath my eyes and all the usual spots that I do to conceal. Now when I apply my concealer I like to leave it for a couple of minutes so it can get very tacky and I just use something and just fan that in place a little bit so it gets when it gets tacky you use less it helps you just stay in place better and give you better coverage so i like doing that with my concealers while it gets tacky i'm going to reach for my ColourPop um pomade and fill in my brows really quick you have to learn to multitask when you're doing your makeup especially when you are in a rush multitasking is the key so i've been really using my pomade to fill my brows in recently because i don't know what happened it just got extra thick on me so this really helps me to not overdo it because it's already thick i'm just applying a little bit in the sparse areas and just pulling that through nothing extra like this okay so now i'm gonna blend this concealer out i feel so rusty like i feel like i haven't sat down to film in a while which i just missed one upload last sunday but truth being told i have been looking at vampire diaries my daughter put me onto that show and that show consumed me i've been going to bed like 4 a.m every morning trying to get through there's eight seasons 
and I'm on season six right now and it has consumed me and I was just extremely tired a little bit unmotivated you know the usual stuff has any of you guys ever looked at the vampire diaries like I'm like I always heard about it but never looked at it I'm like it's so good and I love all the shows that are supernatural and fantasy just give it to me anything that makes me escape from the real shit we have to deal with i love looking at supernatural movies and things like that so after i'm done with vampire diaries i'm definitely going to be looking at the originals and i'm going to be looking at true bloods my friend told me about true bloods as well so i'm definitely going to be looking at that hmm Oh, it feels so good when you see all the discoloration gone, be gone, discoloration. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to do a little bit of cream contouring as well. I'm just using my ColourPop con um, concealer. And I'm going to buff this off with this brush. Sharpen that jawline get rid of that double chin so i lost my double chin but it's back so <laughs> and it's so funny because i have a very small face but i do see my double chin coming in so contouring is gonna get rid of that for you and i also like started to eat clean extra clean again because i need that double chin gone now using my favorite Ben Nye banana powder, I'm going to set all that in place. I want to mention this powder too, is um, the J-Cat banana powder. This powder is very nice. It has a nice luminosity to it. And I tried it, but I feel like some powders, some translucent powders can darken your concealer. And that's what happened when I used this powder. But um, to set the rest of your face, it's beautiful. So I feel like someone who has an issue with their concealer looking too light underneath their eyes, you can reach for the J-Cat banana powder. It will help to darken it up a little bit. I'm going to press that powder in. I'm just going to use some of my got to be gel and just set this brows in place. Yep, my brows are on steroids. Steroid brows. Okay, so I'm continuing to play with the James Charles and Morphe palette today. Um, I'm going to prime my eyes with my P. Lewis eye brace because he says a base is better to use for the shadows and i have been playing with it off camera a lot and it's really really beautiful just using this uh bedellium tools brush to um to blend this off i love how this palette is arranged if you can see like i feel like each quad you can create a really nice look with it like you can use this quad to create a look or this quad to create a look or even this quad like doesn't matter which way damn <laughs> it doesn't matter which way you use the palette i feel like the way it's set up is a nice set design it's just designed in this way that i feel like it makes it easy for you to actually do and i look using full colors so i am gonna start with i'm gonna do something to match my clothes okay so i did one eye off camera as usual so i'm gonna start with my mac 217 brush and the color love that this color right here and i'm gonna press that into my crease and i'm really pressing it very light until i have something that looks like this and i'm gonna take the color underneath that is single this sort of fuchsia color to blend the first color out I've been using different techniques to apply my shadows lately as well and I feel like this one works best with this um, palette like you really need to press the pigments in and little at a time to build it up this is gonna take some time makeup isn't easy I always say that like I have like friends and some of my subscribers saying to me you know I wouldn't do all that like I don't have time to do all that I'm not saying that you have to do all that but there might be a time when you want to and it's not about doing all that it's just mostly about teaching you techniques and things that you can do you don't have to do everything that i'm doing please bear that in mind now i'm taking a softer pink um pinkity drinkity to just sort of blend the edges out even more 
forth your tools are very important in creating eye looks especially with this palette i feel like you really need your tools to be on point so i'm just going back with some of that shadow that we use first because what happens is when you blend they sort of lose their pigment and i want this to be very pigmented and i'm basically just doing the same thing over i'm going back with that fuchsia color to blend the edges where you at but you said you would be here for me all right enough of that so i'm gonna cut this crease cut creases you guys takes time i'm not gonna sit here and said and say it doesn't it really does just take your time and you will get there and you do not have to cut your crease i just want to cut my crease you don't have to cut it you can just go in with the colors as is i really want to create looks for everyone some people are good at makeup some people aren't I don't want to just keep everything simple. I want everyone to be able to come to my channel and be able to get something. All right, so another crease is cut. I'm going to use this uh, color name Boutique on a very dense blending brush and pack that right in the outer corner. And sort of, it's like a gap to the, you don't, so you don't see where the base of my eyes begin and ends. I'm going to Gently pat that in and lightly, lightly blend it off so we can diffuse it into the crease shades. Okay, something else I like to do when I'm doing a cut crease, because trust me, it could get messy. Sometimes the line isn't as neat as you want it to do, as you want it to be, sorry. So I like going in with um, an angle brush and use that crease color and just gently go over the line like this to help neaten it up in case you got messy just like this so it's neat and you have what it is you want like so now i'm reaching for a very firm shadow brush and i'm using the color um hmm, you're kidding and i'm going to apply this right here this is also going to act like a transition color as well from the outer v inwards I feel like this helps to disguise the base and that it really creates a nice transition for you. Then I'm going to take the color literally and apply it right next to the first one. And bring it in as close to the inner corner as possible, but we are not covering up the entire inner corner. Now I'm taking the color ring light and put that right to the inner corner of my eyes. Now I'm going to reach for my Morphe glitter liner. This came from the Morphe holiday set. I'll show you what it looks like. It's this. Um, it's beautiful. And I'm going to use my Morphe uh, liner. It's a very thin liner. So when you want to get very precise with, with very detailed with stuff, this is perfect to create your wing liners and things like that. I'm going to use the M250-0. Take some of this glitter here and I'm going underneath the line that underneath the cut crease. I'm not going over the cut crease because I don't want the line to be higher. I want it to be underneath. I want to maintain my cut crease. So I'm going underneath that line. of my NYX powder foundation to dust the excess bake off. This, this just adds more coverage. Now I'm taking my ebony bronzer and we're gonna bronze this face up. Bringing back some color into the skin. I'm gonna mix two blushes today. I'm gonna use Milani Luminoso and um, Fantastico Mauve. This blushes has a slight shimmer to it, which I have been into a lot lately because my skin can be so dry off the moment. I like the extra glow to help these guys that my skin is so dry. So before I go anywhere, if I continue anything, I am going to soak my face. I'm going to soak my face in um, setting spray because my skin is really, really dry. 
Yeah. And I'm gonna continue with the bottom lash and I'm gonna use the color Boutique on a very small definer brush. Right, so I applied some powder on the sides because I got messy and I also am neatening up my contour just a little bit and I'm going back with that color ring light and I'm adding some more to the inner corners and sort of bringing it to the bottom of my eyes as well. So I just took a very small liner brush also and applied that very close to my bottom lashes. Now I'm gonna dust this powder off. Mm. This is the infamous Jaclyn Hills trick to clean up when you get messy and it really does work. Now I'm gonna dab my brush with some of my Armoreezy highlighter and this highlighter is back in stock so get your hands on it because it's beautiful. And I'm gonna apply this to the tops of my cheek. I'm gonna also mix that with some of the Shayla and Colourpop highlight in Booming. I'm just taking what's in the cap because it's very pigmented. I like using this as a topper or on its own, but it's um, it's beautiful as well. I'm just gonna apply some of this like so. Lips, before I complete anything else, I'm gonna just do my lips um, using my Colourpop lip liner in BFF3. Then my MAC lipstick and Please Me. Okay, so I'm gonna apply my lashes, my mascara and lashes and be right back. Okay, so I use my Kiss uh, So Wispy number three lashes. They are my favorite from the drugstore, from the beauty supply store. Now I'm just gonna take my damp beauty sponge and just gently press everything in. This is just gonna a final step to your makeup that's just gonna help everything to just be cohesive and look a very flawless. All right, guys, so this is a complete look, my full face of makeup. I know it looks complicated. You do not have to do everything I did. I'm here to teach techniques. You cannot grow staying one way all the time. You have to evolve. So I am going to bring the drama and I am going to do things that are simpler as well. And like I say, you, you, I'm here for you to take stuff from, not to sit and do everything I do. The average person does not have time to sit and do a full beat. But this is something I've been doing for years, so it's like second nature to me and it can be second nature to you when you get to that point because when you know how to do your makeup and the way you love to see your face it's very simple to go to a simple look like for me whenever i say i'm doing my makeup this is what i do because this is what i know it's very it's difficult for me to go back to the way i used to do makeup years ago this is what i know this is what i love so whenever i'm doing my makeup i'm going to do my steps because this is what i know i cannot go back to doing it the way i used to the more you do the more you're going to get to the point of to what it is you love the more you experiment the more you're going to know what products you love and you are going to um you are going to get a routine that works best for you so like i say you take from it you grow you learn different techniques you do whatever you experiment this is what i'm here for so thank you so much for watching um if you haven't already please subscribe and always hit the bell because the bell will let you know when i upload you youtube has been playing games lately so please hit the bell like comment and share it really helps it really helps with your engagement and i really really appreciate it you can follow me on all my social media shades of Charles and Charles makeup edition and um, i'm gonna see you again soon so thank you so much for watching and, and bye